What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I'm really excited to show you this deck. We're calling it Valking because it is not Valk Trickster Hybrid, Valk Viking Hybrid. And the advantage of running, let's say, Viking. First of all, Viking is a card we've had tremendous success with recently, especially when you are teleporting in Mustache Monument and then playing Viking. I mean, 7 damage, Bullseye, and also drains your opponent's block meter and, uh, you know, that's basically just removing half their health, removing their chances of blocking, can finish off opponents if you've done a little damage before and a little damage after. One real shot from the Shield Crusher Viking is all you need. The cool thing about this deck, instead of Valk Trickster Hive, Valk Trickster Hive was a very um, hard deck to sort of create and to play because you have tricks for the Trickster and means for the Valkyrie. It did work out very well, but this has the advantage of being a much more minion based deck you don't have to have as many tricks because you don't have tricks there so really just focusing uh more on minions because your valkyrie is going to grow by two attack every single time a zombie is destroyed the the cool thing i really like about this deck too is that when people see professor brainstorm they typically think there's going to be a lot of tricks in the deck i try to keep it to a real minimum cutting it to just two bungees we got some fruit cakes and final missions just in case final missions are going to be good uh, for the Barrel of Deadbeards, also for your backup dance-off, your backup dancers to be able to turn those into 4 damage. It makes too little useless 1-1s. One um, but you can really, you know, if they're going to be mulliganing for their Black IPs and their Forget-Me-Nuts, this deck will wreck them. Because you play Con Man on 1, okay, they play Forget-Me-Nuts. You play Disco Dance Floor on turn 2, they play Black IP into that. All of a sudden, you've done 6 damage to their face while they've, you know, removed one of your guys and charged your Valk a little bit. That is a very good trade in a deck like this. Uh, so early game, again, you're just controlling with your bungees, but you're trying to do damage. You're trying to proactively hurt your opponent and get their health lower, which makes it a lot easier to finish them off. The con man, the disco dance floor, again, is very good at that because this is overshoot. If they don't kill it, even if they put a minion in front of it, it's doing another three damage. So a disco dance floor can easily represent uh, six damage in this game. Barrel of dead beards, you know, if you final mission their face, it's four, and then it makes a four, three. Uh, you can be using Final Mission for your dead beards. You can be sticking this in front of minions they played the turn before. Uh, but you can also teleport in the Barrel of Dead Beards. It's a good activator for this. Uh, teleporting this in front of what they played, either using a teleport or a teleportation zombie. Uh, that is going to be a great way of uh, fronting their minion, and you're basically, you know, splashing their field, sometimes killing something, and you get a f two cost four three, which is ridiculous value. Uh, the reason running so many teleports is for the dead beard. I think teleporting in, hear me out, guys. I'm pretty sure teleporting in Disco Dance Floor is going to be a real thing here. Because if you play Disco Dance Floor, they could kill it that turn with something with three attack. But teleporting this in means it's definitely going to do three, and then the next turn it'll do another three. It just doubles the potential. I never really thought of teleport Disco Dance Floor as a thing. Teleports are also very useful uh, for your Valk and for your Viking, because if you just play these on the field, their opponent's going to shamrock at them. You want to make sure that they're going to be getting the value that they deserve and be hitting face. So if you don't have Mustache Monument, you can just teleport these into an empty lane. So we're teleporting in the early game and we're teleporting the lake game so i'm running eight teleports in the stack got a couple environments to be able to control um you know you should be able to deal with psycho cap who relies very heavily on his plant environments mostly to cover plant environments it's sometimes trapper territory the extra one damage uh can really make the difference in terms of one of your you know killing a key uh minion on your opponent's side of the field let's see how this deck does i'm actually really excited for this because again i really i like the really strong deck that sort of functions like Valk Trickster Hybrid, but doesn't really die to all the Black Eyed Peas and the Forget Me Nuts that Professor Brainstorm decks usually do. So we are going to be doing 10 games. The game shouldn't take too long. This deck should be pretty efficient. Let's do 10 games. If you think we're going to win, 8 out of 10 vote yes. 7 out of 10 is going to be a no over here at the live stream. Twitch.tv forward slash fry em up. We're going to do some typical, regular old bets today. I've been doing a lot of uh, very slow decks. Uh, let's mulligan. These are very good cards against Captain Gavustable, though. I probably should mulligan for a Valk. How hard do we mulligan for Valkyrie? Okay, there's another combo I didn't tell you about. Give me one second. I'm going to set up the bets. And then we're just going to get right into the games here. So 8 out of 10. 8 is going to be a 7 is going to be a no. Of course, we bet our channel points. Our fries, very coveted. That we gain over here on the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash. Prime up. 
So play Comman on one. You can end up with a Valkanir starting him, but it's not a big deal. Usually, like, you know, you can draw into the Vikings. There's another cool combo, which is Disco Dance Floor Viking. Disco Dance Floor makes an overshoot, so there might be a scenario where we really don't want the opponent to block, and we just need to drain their block meter, and we'll be teleporting a Viking, Shield Crusher Viking, onto a Disco Dance Floor. I'm not sure how practical this is, but I can think theoretically... Theoretically of that happening. Teleportation Zombie is a very good card against Katsuki Bustle. Well, you can react to his aggression while, um, you know, he doesn't really deal five damage very well. This is going to take two cards. Actually, two for one out. I don't know why. He... A little bit strange. I guess he didn't like the teleportation zombie. Thank you. I'm a time fish. I think I missed one before. Guys, if you sub during the. You know what? If you sub during, <laughs> during the intro, I'm not shouting you out. Come on. So there's Banana Bomb. Uh, should I be aggressive here? I think I will. We still don't have a Valk yet. That's a pretty decent summoning. I mean, it's a two drop. If he kills it, we get a card. This will just be grinding him down. There's Disco Dance. I'm, I'm going to teleport Disco Dance Floor. That's what we're doing here. I love this. I can also final mission the 2 2 to something. It's not terrible. Could you just hit this, please? It's okay. It's a good trade. It's a 1-5 against a 4-1. Okay, he's killing it. Great. So, yep. It's just dance floor. It's just 3 damage. It's a lot. I'm losing my voice. I have already recorded a Roblox video today. If you want to see you guys, if you are interested in seeing me play, actually very entertaining, not your normal little mm, grind simulator Roblox games. You want to see me play some pretty um, entertaining Roblox stuff, check out my new channel. It's called Fry Am All. Search for that on YouTube. It's also linked on the side of my other things. So this is interesting. We're going to go for um, Teleport. Mustache mining. And again, this is the whole bonus attack has already been invested the turn before. And now watch this. I mean, look at this, guys. Bam. So he's down to three empty block meter with three overshoot on the field, a 7-5, and then we'll just put that on for, for good luck. I mean, come on, guys. Viking is so... If you can do a lot of damage without making them block, and then you do the Viking, man... I mean, what is he supposed to do about that? Just domination! Oh, man. So happy after all these years, Viking, one of the OG, you know, legendaries in this game. I've never really used it that much, but it's that good. It's that simple. Sheesh! Yes, yes. Go! Yeah, we've been playing some horror games on Roblox. We actually played Plants vs. Zombies in Roblox, which was very fun, like PvZ1. Man, I'm kicking it here. <laughs> that was harsh, bros. That was harsh. I'll, I'll just mulligan out the Viking, and I don't need to start with it. I'm not starting with a 5-drop. Starting with Valk, though, on the other hand. That's what we want to see. Two Valks is too much, but... Rather have two than zero. I'm not even sure about that. I know, nice repeat moss, am I right? So we'll just spam that. That'll be the last trick we play this game. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like the teleportation zombie first and then teleporting this in. I really like the play. God damn it. <laughs> Come on, man. So do we just teleport Disco Dance Floor here? I think I do, especially once we top deck second teleport. We have so many teleports we can burn some, you know? Bro! Um, so it's gonna be... We don't have an answer to this. It's a little bit of a problem. We do have a play next turn. And it's gonna be Teleportation Zombie, Teleportation Zombie to block the Captain Cucumber. Then we'll have two Teleportation Zombies on the field and we'll be able to hit him with the Viking on turn five. So this is actually a very decent play. The fly and all vids are a little too raw footage why for my taste, but I'm glad you're having fun on Roblox. Okay, we'll Smile. make some uh, highlight comps eventually. Wow, oh, it's so annoying. 
Uh, it's probably right. Instead of another Disco Dance floor, right? This is really hurts, though. It's just doing so much. It did four damage to face and then four damage to our board. So we got Viking here. Is he even going to go after this? Shrinking. Wow. We. Sheesh. That really hurts. Um. Double Disco Dance Floor. I think we'll just start with this here. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, though. <laughs> Starfruit is just one Starfruit from uh, Captain Cucumber is just ripping us apart here. He has like a plant food, he kind of just wins. What am I going to do? It's on heights too, you know, this is the problem when you're not running him in as many bungees. I mean, what? This is the card I have to play against? Shooting Starfruit? Admiral would be another one. Um, you know... There's Teleport Valk if he removes this. I should probably just go for that, right? Yeah, Teleport Valk. And this will only do... Even if he removes the teleportation zombie, it only does 6 damage, so... Bro! Wait, he didn't kill anything, though. So the Valk... Well... Yeah, that'll do it! Guys! Got him! That's clean! That's clean! Guarantee lethal double disco dance floor from the teleport. Let's not play this card. Nothing can nothing can be gained. We're good. We win. No Sporticus stuff. Where has this deck been all my life? Wow. Just wow. I mean, that was that was a situation where the guy got a top deck from Captain Cucumber and was pummeling us. And we just got to 20 so fast. Whoa. Dance floor OP? I mean, I don't know. This has been one of the cards. There's been a lot of people in this community who have been ranting how great it is. And I've kind of, I don't know. I haven't found. I mean, this is my dance floor deck, though, man. Shit. What else can I say? Oh, that was... <laughs> you know what? We have the uh, Trapper territory, so playing this instead of one, we'll play it here. Lame! <clears throat> oh, game mechanics. No. <laughs> if things die, they don't get bounced. We know that. If we're in Primal Peace Shooter. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I, was, I, I thought maybe... No, it's not. This is the play. This is the play. That always works. It does not get bounced before it explodes. Nothing like that. It's going to make a 4-3. Two cost 4-3. Well, I know four bungees again. I You know, to take out what? That's the question. They start taking out con men. I really wanted to emphasize minions more than tricks. I did start with four bungees, though, for the record. Uh, Twin Sunflower really punishes that play, though. I'm gonna try to teleport into that, I think. Make him feel safe that I don't have an answer. Ugh. Oh my gosh, we are getting so ready. <laughs> what am I so... Guys, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, this is fine. But he's he's ramping for... He's gonna get, like, turn 5 dragon. Turn 4... What is this? Turn 4? Turn 4 dragon? Not a bad day at the office. Now what? Uh, this is the problem with no removal. It's 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 coming to bite us. Maybe we just need more bungees, man. Uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Like, where would he play the dragon? He'd play it here. I, I think we lose to dragon no matter what. We're playing slightly around Brainana by at least committing a minion there. 
Okay. Hopefully he doesn't have anything good to ramp to. He's not at 8 anymore, which is like... Whew. Do I do the disco dance floor? Or con I think Eureka and Con Man is going to be it. We really need something from this Eureka here. <laughs> Come on, man. We need a miracle. Fruit cake! Oh, that's what I need? That's perfect, because now when he plays the big card, we can fruit cake it. Fruit cake is one of the best things we got. We also got... Wow, we also got Cheese Shover. So we can, with two teleportation zombies on the field, that's really, really good. Whoa. He's making nine. Great zucchini time. We can actually Cheese Shover the goat. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it. Why not? Why not? It's gonna kill one of these, I guess. We can also just go face. <laughs> wow, how greedy would it be going face here, man? He only has one card, though. Well, we can just do these two next turn. You know what? I say screw it. I say screw this. <laughs> We're going face. I don't care. Seven bullseye. Drain your blocks. I don't care. Do not care. So we'll hit him with this now. Is there a final mission bungee plumber play that wins here? Maybe I should go for that. You know what? Screw it. I'm still not dealing with it. <laughs> I'm in complete denial. But we either have fruitcake in two or we have... Oh, I don't heal. No. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's bad. That is bad. That is bad. Man, he had a top, top cannon heal. That was his last thing. You know, this would have won. This would have won. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. He has just a seed. Should I should I final this one now? I think I, I I'll save this for the primordial for next turn. Was we could have final mission phase bungee phase disco maybe. Uh, I think I'm always starting with this. I'll go from there. How does he keep getting caught third cop cannon? So we we final this, right? We final this to face and try to block. <laughs> and then we just get then we teleport disco floor next turn. We should block here. Could you not roll a three, please? Yes. Summoning. Overshoot will happen before the strike through. Oh, there's another card. <laughs> Final mission. <laughs> wait, wait. No, it's that's not lethal. Oh my gosh, it's close though. Um. Oh, this is so close to lethal. We don't have a lane for it though. Oh my god. Okay, well, this is the play, and then teleport. In case he bring nanos, I'll play the first one already. In fact, I can teleport the, the gadget to make it guaranteed so he can't block. That's actually a decent play. Uh, no, I can't. We either win or we don't. He has to roll a three. Come on! Yes! 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 Let's go! Dang, that guy got some... I mean, <laughs> there's no reason we should have won that game. That guy had so many ramp cards, and we had no answers, and he had three Cobb Cannons, Astrocado. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Yes. 
Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the overshoot gadget would have happened if he didn't drag in. That would have been guaranteed. All right. Well. <laughs> Let's see what else this deck can do. Let's just look for another minion. I don't need anything else. Should I keep this? No, nah, we'll, we'll draw into it. It's so much better. Yes! Um, I think we go face. I think we just pummel this in this deck. Oh my gosh, we have answers now? Not answers, but activators. We can just put the barrel on there now. <laughs> Got we in there. Be there. Oh, it's not bad. I think I'm gonna do this first. I just think there's things he plays into this and kills in a couple turns. This is a good opportunity. Disco dance floor is science, but it doesn't do anything with the gadget. It doesn't do its three damage overshoot when you play gadget sciences. That's not how it works. It is science, though. Yeah, playing gadget wouldn't wouldn't have done any damage to the opponent's face there. It's the point. Uh, all right. Let's just keep piling it on, man. So we'll play teleportation zombie fruitcake. Is what we'll play. We'll play on turn four, and then teleport in the Viking on five. Okay, great. <laughs> you got a three three. <laughs> Come on, got to set up a little bit more there. Something. I don't know. I don't know about that play. It's okay. No one's gonna be able to answer this aggression though. Here's that. Oh, we've got all kinds of stuff going on. So it's either fruitcake or con man. Bro, I'll fruitcake that. <laughs> Guys, it's a 5-5. Five five. This is what happens when you invest everything in this game into one card. Shabam. Yo, dad. A wee, a wee. <laughs> so much damage. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't think he's gonna answer the one five. I'm, I'm banking on just. I mean, he can't answer a seven five, but it still doesn't go face. This is fine. We're just being a greedy bastard here. Oh no, you killed my. Oh, how, how could you? Do I just Valk here instead of Viking? I mean, Viking does one fewer damage and it's Bullseye. I guess we just Viking here. But I could play Trapper. I don't care. I could have actually played Valk Con Man. Would that have been better? It would have been two, three more damage. Anyway. I don't know. And I don't care. Okay, this man needs a mirror. <laughs> the discount heal heals for four. And we'll take one back. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. That is guaranteed. Nice fig. Beautiful. I love the fig. Just so stylish. Just amazing. Guys, this deck is legit! Holy mo- It's so funny how instead of controlling, we're just like, screw it, more aggression. We don't need to control. Controlling is- Controlling's useless. You know what I'm gonna do? Because we've got hurt by it twice already. Regrettably, I'm gonna take out the trappers. I think having that fourth bungee in there, I think it's gonna go against, again, the weird things, the star fruits, the twin sunflowers, the things with the little cards. That we need to answer, I think the fourth bungee is gonna be. You know, there's cycle cap, there's environment. I don't know, man. Plant environments in one or two decks, they're really dangerous and otherwise. Not so much. Yes. Go. Go. What the hell was that? I know the backup dancers can charge the Valk, but it just gives them so much more. Jeez. Um, let's hit him with this first. Go for now. Mm. 
So, uh, do I look like I care? There's so many answers. Go to Fi, Mog, Hammer. So many answers. I'm gonna play this dry. Because we'll usually be able to have at least some answer to help rotation zombie. We don't want to get slowed down. Not like that. This still the six, man. This will do four. I don't care. We won that trade. I don't know what he was going for with that, but it's down to one one now. This is looking pretty sheesh. I'm gonna hit him with this. And we'll teleport a fruitcake here. So much damage, though. Fruitcake looks awfully good. It represents just... The amount of damage it represents is, you know, basically like well, at least four damage. Yes! So now I could play the... Oh. Ooh. <laughs> we got rat. We got an answer to lane one. Good. This is incredible. I'll probably go for it, too. I uh, could use a Viking, but this will just be used to proc the block. And, <laughs> well, he knows. But we'll either fruitcake or teleport another minion in here. This man is whack. His face is whack. That's a pretty good fruitcake. And yeah, we're just kind of approaching this uh, Valkyrie, the, the Mustache Monument Valkyrie. That rolled a 1. Playing Bag of Dancers would have made it for sure, the 3 damage hits there, but it probably doesn't really matter. I'd rather have board space. There is Viking. So we're one turn away from this. I should probably just Viking. He's going to have to spend a lot of research to the opponent. Hasn't really shown us any superpowers, though, right? So Viking's just gonna get godified. Uh, let's do it like this. It's a 4-4. Four, four. He knows. Oh. We're down to 8. We don't have a ton of health. Mogging that... That's fine. Survey says, interdimensional zombie. And he kills it. But, uh, yep, that'll be guaranteed. Guaranteed. Here's a madouche. And it's turn seven. You know what happens on turn seven. <laughs> he knew. This man got, he got, he knew. He knows. He knows what happens. Get to turn seven. Yo, there. Yes. Oh, Gabrielle, I have no idea what that word means. Uh oh. <laughs> See, once we take it out, I still have no idea if it's snipers. I have no idea. It could be 100% of the stream. It could be there's so many people trying. I have no clue. However,. Um, you know, it's, this could be just cycle cap. It's a little scary. Once we've taken out the trapper territories, I'm very scared indeed. Should I spam this? Should I save this for later in case it's cycle cap? Is that crazy? I think I am. This is our only answer. Con man, every time he draws a card, does damage, so. If he starts doing the whole thing with the Astro Shroom and the Planet of the Grapes. Um, yeah, man. Okay. Well, that's nice for free next turn. So that's fine. Oh, uh, do I con, man? The final looks good. I could come in here. Alright, let's do it. 
barrels good against like that? Not really, because clearing their board. <laughs> it's not really that good. So we could do the final. I could just bungee here too. It's not terrible. I'll go with the final. It's a lot of damage. We're leaving on the table here if we don't do this. Essentially, we could save this and go phase with it. And we'll have the bungee for later. So this is uh, six damage here. Pretty good. Uh, it's a berry deck, so we don't really have to worry about... I know Flying of the Grapes is a berry, but... We don't really have to worry about that anymore. So we'll play the barrel whenever. For now, it's just fruitcake and bungee. Second bungee is not a good top deck there. We really wanted something a little more proactive. So, you know, bungee, bungee, I, I mean, maybe single, yeah, it's single bungee plumber. I don't need this combat to live. Really need this to die. Here's Valk. <laughs> 2017 Barry does. Remember when Barry was meta? That was fun. It's strawberry home. Strawberry home. Okay, let's charge the valve camp. That was the time of day. This is perfect. Couldn't be better. Gotta proc that block too. One more. Bungie can proc the block now, so that was actually pretty damn good. Uh, probably better to teleport this Viking or Valk. Maybe next turn I'll actually go for Viking Fruitcake because we'll have seven. Kind of hard for him to do five damage without a certain Stronger in the field. He would need like two Berry Flats. Like, yeah, probably not running too much bounce in this deck with all the Berries. Okay. No, don't do that. Wow, that was mean. To be honest, I don't care about the 3-2, I care about the 2-2. Two, two. So I'm gonna do it like this. I wanna go for my play. I don't want... I think I'm gonna go for this here. Is this stupid? We're going Viking Fruitcake. For the block meter drain. Uh-oh. Don't very flash me, please. <laughs> Pretty place! God damn it! You know what? That's okay. Because he's spending all this resources we're giving him a card back, which is very sad. He's spending the bag. He's not getting much damage from it. We gotta proc this fool's block? That's what we gotta do. We're kind of both out of steam. We have this Valk, but... Feel a whole lot coming from that. And the man has spine apple. Look at the synergy. Look at this guy. He is impressive. I don't even know what just happened. Congratulations. So do I do I deal with this now? Uh, I think I do. Can't be having Ragnar. I'm not gonna be able to answer that anytime this game. So it's just gonna be six damage every single turn. I can't really deal with that. Ragnaros Barry making six damage in a random thing. But that guy does, in case you didn't know. So we just got a... I don't know, but I don't like our position here. We need a mustache monument or a teleport. We're actually not in great shape. We have card of the fruitcakes messed us up. Fruitcake is like our last resort, but unfortunately... It gives us big card disadvantage. Blocking and getting um, some card draw... We go a really long way here. Oh my god, look at this guy. I don't think I can final mission this. It reduces it from 3 damage to 5. I don't know. Yes, we block the 5. Thanks for rolling a 1. Yes, that is exactly the card we wanted. We want cards in our deck. And I want a Eureka. Yes! So it's 4... Nine. I think this is the play. Can we teleport Valk? Oh, 
Ah, good old telepathy. So reliable. Oh. So now we have to teleport and get something that doesn't do six damage, right? That works! We take those! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be rough! <laughs> ah, we have one health left. We have one health left. And we have a Valk and a Dream. So if we get any minion here... Actually, we have a minion right here. We just have to final mission. We just have to final mission and we'll be good. Uh, two shots doesn't kill it. I think we win this. We have to not go face with this final mission. We'll just hit, like, well, we'll hit the 5 4, obviously. If he destroys the Valk somehow, this is also a contingency plan to survive an extra turn. Wait a minute. Well, this kills the disco dance floor. Was this a mistake? Was this ain't nothing? Okay. He can roll a two. No matter what, he can roll a two and, 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 and survive here. Well... Okay, here's the decision, guys. No, he's always doing two damage here anyway. Alright, so there's only one play. We have to not roll a one. Oh no, sorry, this kills the 2-1. Oh, never mind. Sorry, guys, ignore everything I just said. It's guaranteed lethal. We kill our guy, but we kill his too. It's guaranteed. I don't know why that took me so long to figure... Because I'm like, no, I'm going to kill my disco dance floor. <laughs> he has a 1 in 3 chance of... No, his guy dies. His guy dies too. I don't know. I don't care. We're 6-0. Oh. Don't let me do the talking. Let the deck do the talking, okay? This is not about me. It's not about my ability to make any kind of good decisions. It's about the deck. This deck is awesome. This deck is so good. <laughs> you, the chat's yelling at me. You guys knew. Everyone's in all caps. You guys know already, okay? Just ignore me, okay? This is what it's about right here, guys. It's the deck. It's the deck. Yes. <laughs> oh, 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 I know. Game me now. That's not game mechanics. That's me being stupid, okay? That's not game mechanics. That's me. I've had a long day already. 7.30 at night. I, this is my second stream, second recording today. My brain ain't no work yet. I don't want to make excuses, but I'm stupid, okay? Just ignore that. Ignore whatever just happened. Wow, so Kanman sort of draws out his removal, which is very cool. Summoning is reactive. I'm going to go for like one, two, three. I think that's right. Because really, what is he going to do to this Kanbe? What is he going to do? Is he going to play another Primal Pea Shooter? He mogs a one drop. Here, here comes Cheese Cutter. Here comes just some aggro card. Wonderful. You didn't solve any. Oh my god, we got Disco Nod. I should anyway run Disco Nod in this deck. No, no, Kanban's better. Guys, that didn't make things any better for him now. Now? <laughs> Guys, stop, stop mogging Con Man on turn one. Come on, man. Let's go get the fail cop. Look at all this bullseye. He's down to 13. Not even a shred of block. Not even close. Look at this. Here's another one. Here it goes. Here comes another one. What you got, Rose? What you got? You got an answer yet? No. No, just throw Mog out there. Just, just fart out the mog, everything's gonna be fine. Here, here's some more bullseye damage, probably. Yep, I don't care, it's a dance. More bullseye, so here's three more bullseye. Here's another one, here's another one, and another one, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, <laughs> why does this have my calendar? That says, call my bubby, which is grandma in, in Jewish. It's my alarm, it goes off 7.30 every Thursday night, because I'm such a good grandson. Oh, we got this guy. <laughs> We got it. There's no... What is it going to do? Shrinking Violet? Here, do it. Do it. What else you got? What else you got? You got another card? You got another one? Good. <laughs> Look at these Valks. Don't even mention them. What else do you got? Uh, 
Turn four, lethal. Oh no, he ramped. Oh no. Uh. Dude. It's going in the fail count. This is a perfect opportunity for me to write down the, the fail in the cup. How does my, 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 my Chrome not know that Valk is a real word? Add to dictionary. Autocorrect. Sus. Yeah, he quit. He just was like, look, I have shrinking violet. I so special. Nothing on my computer is working. Nothing's even working. Let's go. There. Google Docs is usually very reliable, but it's been sketchy lately. I don't even know what's going on. Game set seven, turn one. Guy mogs to disco not so I get all this bullseye. Easy! Get wrecked! <sighs> All right, seven and up. Yes. <laughs> Did we? No, we played this night cat. We this this is the one we just played. This was the very good. No, it wasn't. It's was a completely new guy. No, it's not, guy. Just because this one's a nightcap and that one's a nightcap doesn't mean they're the same, okay? That's not how it works. Every person is their own individual, okay? There's Valk. That's all we really needed. I'll keep Bungie against nightcap. He has enough Admiral Navy Beans and annoying stuff. I'm actually playing the con man on turn one here. I don't know why. <laughs> he just shrinking violated and then called it a day. Like, that's all I have to say. Man's putting that in. He gets a magic beanstalk in his deck, and we get one damage to face. I don't know which one's better. I think I'm gonna go Bungie Eureka here. Not in that order. And then teleport. I really like teleporting into disco dance floors. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, the gizzard lizard. Oh, that ain't bad. Ooh. That sumo looks... Huh? Oh, we got a lot of stuff. Look at the gesture, too. That was a decent Eureka, and we got Flick as well. So how do we play this? Huh. I almost want to move things into the gesture. This is the safest play, so I'm going to go with it. Yeah, this deck is nuts, man. <laughs> It's just we've been in so many situations where we always die. Ramp unanswered. Uh, I don't even remember what else we, we, we went up against. Um, what was the other d the game that the guy was really dumb? He, had a, he got a turn four. He gets the... Um, that's a really awesome play. And look at this Jester coming up. Oh, yeah. And then we also went up against turn three Captain Cucumber, turn four Starfruit with like a team up in front of it that we just didn't have an answer. And then we, we just came, we just did won so quickly that it didn't matter. Uh, this and backup dancers to Sol will be good, and then we'll do some more splash and final mission and stuff next turn. That is, that's dangerous. I'm glad we can at least prevent three damage. We're getting a little low, actually. He's at 19. He'll be down a lot lower than that here. Uh, this flick is good for lane three. Get a lot of value. I should probably play defensively, because really, his win condition is aggroing us right now. We're not blocking. So it's going to be, I think, two. I like these lanes being claw. I think it's two and then three. We'll, we'll just uh, hando. Give this guy the hando. That's okay. He's going for card draw, which he really needs, but fortunately, he's not going to get it. Really, really good Eureka. I mean, Eureka usually gives you one decent card, one garbage card, and one unplayable card. We got three really, really good cards from Eureka, which is rare. We got Knockout, Sumo, which was fine because we have to control. We're in that situation here. 
We have teleports. Oh, we got everything we need here. So I'm just gonna easy pass. Um, is a play like Final Mission double this good dance floor? But two... Nine, ten. That's guaranteed. He didn't have a play. But even if he kills that, we teleport anyway. <laughs> I wonder if that's him just being salty about how good our Eureka was. Because he thought three cards come out that weren't in our deck, which was... I mean, amazing. Amazing. Wow. The best Eureka ever. I guess I should put that Eureka in the highlight comp, because that was actually incredible. So it's going to be game eight. What a stream. We're already 8 0. I mean, this is. We are just whooping some touch. We're taking names today. This is, reminds me of the good old Val Trickster hybrid days, man. Nobody. No, so the answer is yes. We're just going for the 10 0 at this point. This is all just. This is all just extra credit time. What were the bets? The bets were 87% voted yes, 13% went for the lucky no. So that's settled. Uh, always get rid of mustache out of your starting hand. These two are good. Kind of want to keep fruitcake against this guy. We need some earlier. We need some aggression here, though. Okay, I think this is going to be good enough. Ugh, really wanted summoning there. Or any card draw. Really, any superpower except for this. It's what we wanted there. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Stall. Yes. I don't know why I spammed that, but it worked out. It's gonna be two, three. We have like teleporting in a gravestone to block some something at some point in time. And we have a fruit cake. I don't know. This mulligan didn't really work out. We really wanted a con man or I don't know. I mean we have teleportation, disco dance, and it could have He passed turn two, so that helps a lot. A lot, a lot. That's interesting. I, I could go for the Disco Dance Floor. I think I'm just gonna play this. He could very easily Berry Blast either one of these. So I'll just set this up and I'll have a 2-2 two -two next turn. I'll have a 2-2. Two -two. So that's a strong play, but it doesn't really do anything for a few turns here. So that's cool. We have now a full health teleportation zombie on the field, so this should be an easy teleport. Man blocked already? Damn. God dang it. Why, though? That is not... You do not spend such a powerful superpower if it is not going to do damage immediately, and a lot of damage. Come on, man. He's probably going to remove this one, but we'll just teleport something in. We can fruitcake this. There's no problems here. Uh, so we have to fruitcake this. What am I with you? He's still never gonna do really do damage here. We'll just teleport in a teleportation zone, maybe. He's down to 12. Uh, we're looking for one of our finishers, maybe? Would be nice. So I'll play. I, I might as well play this. He can't remove a gravestone. I'll play Con Man here to get the, the extra bullseye. We'll have to make a whole calculation. I'll just play the Con Man and try. Uh, I'm just not seeing the damage here. We need a little bit more, a little more oomph. You know what I'm saying? And now all of a sudden that 9-3 is in play since we had to use the fruitcake in a different way. Little scary. What do we got? There's Viking. I don't really have a lane for it though. I'm basically stalling for, I mean, we'll see if he has a Berry Blast here, in which case we are in humongous trouble. I'm basically stalling for, like, this turn 8, 9 play, turn 8 play, 7, 8. Oh, ow. 
made fun of that guy. And they done that. So that's a teleportation zombie in the bank. This one dies. They just don't have lanes. Ugh. Now what? <laughs> we are not in good shape here, folks. Oh, that grows up to five. I was just gonna play the Viking. So now what do I do? Ugh. That's devastating. If we take five damage we lose, we kind of lose no matter what. There's no lane that opens here. See, the problem with these is that we don't... Once we kill, you know, we chump block, it doesn't open the lane back up. I kind of have to commit the Viking here, right? The otherwise, we'll take five. We'll be within three damage here. Yeah, the backup dancer giving him superpowers is not good. I don't know, man. Is there a card we top deck that actually wins here? Viking doesn't do it. After all, double threes now. Ugh. Yeah, we're gonna lose this one. Oh well. Against Captain Combustible, you are never safe. You know how it works. <laughs> okay, California roll summoning. And a dream. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, still California roll summoning in a dream. We can actually still survive. <laughs> actually, does that? No, that, no, now it's impossible. That actually messed it up. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, eight and one. Had to come to an end at some point, huh? It's okay. We're going for the nine and one. Should have made fun of him, huh? That super, did that super end up killing us? Wow, that super on turn one. I didn't know, I don't know, I had one fruitcake I had to use on the B-Rex. Ah, uh, fruitcake, man. There's no wing nuts. Honestly, fruitcake has probably been the worst card in this deck so far. I don't know. It's probably been good more times than it's bad, but... There's a lot of situations, especially against dinosaurs, man. If you eat fruitcake, it's... Mm-mm. Not the same guy. Let's get our revenge against the idea of Captain Combustible. That is what we call starting hand. That right there. This right here. That's what I want to see. So it's gonna be you. It's gonna be you. So hopefully it doesn't put too much heat on this here. No! Ugh. Yeah, it's just one of the many cards <laughs> I don't have an answer to. It. Uh -huh. I guess so. Wow, the con man's gonna punish him really hard. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's go dance floor as the MVP of this deck. Put a fourth one in instead of fruit cake. Uh, there could be a version of this deck where we get rid of the fruit cakes, get rid of everything, and we just we just go all out. <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's see where he can see what we get. Captain Cucumber now. He's adding a lot of value. We got that free banana bomb now. He's adding a lot of value to the board, but he's not taking care of the problem, which is we are doing way too much damage to him. By turn three, he's down to 13 health. Beginning of turn four. Where would I rank Freaking Hum Pumpkin, man? I, honestly, the more I play them in really close games, the worse, obviously, they get. 
pumpkin late in the game, fruitcake in a top deck scenario is the worst thing usually. Unless it makes you win. But then sometimes it makes you win. Such hard cards to rate with. So he's mall killing and he gets a second mall kill. That's some BS. He gets that, okay. Um why? Um Okay. Uh, this Picanola throws a big curveball in this whole game here. Can we get something with really high health from this Eureka? Like, uh... You know what I want? That didn't do anything. Oh, he's making his cards live. I'm supposed to, okay. We could go face for six. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Should I go face for six? <laughs> That's probably as much as this is going to do. This Picano will be around for the rest of the game. Do I just go face for a 6 here? Alright, screw it. It's 6 damage. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Muchos grande damage. I don't think he's going to have an answer. We have Eureka teleport whatever here. Uh, yeah, just like, if he remove, if he, like... Removes the one, it removes anything. We just teleport this in and hit him with the Viking for guaranteed for next turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I think you lose, my friend. My friend, my friend, I believe you lose. Okay, so he has uh, superpowers, he has one that does three damage. Ugh. Okay, we're always gonna play Eureka first. So let's see if we can simplify things a little bit. There's a cake. There's a cake. Teleport. Oh, there's a barrel. Decent barrel. Decent barrel cheese. He just he has to block, first of all, and second of all, he can't get in super. He can't get he'd have to get meteor, exactly, right? pretty safe. We have 20 health. Pretty safe play for... If he doesn't block and get Meteor, it's guaranteed. And he has to Meteor this one. If he's smart, he will. Because he knows he has 4 health. This thing's... Uh, yeah, bonus didn't do it. Bonus not good enough. Oh, look. Guys, Synergy. Look at it. Look at this guy. He actually got us down to 5. Captain Combustible, 5 health. Scary. Scary AF. Guys, look, we can win with this instead. We don't even need Viking. <laughs> Go, Frank Guitar! <laughs> yes! Eureka from, 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 from heck. From hell. I can say hell. I can say the word hell. Alright, guys. Uh, this was the Valking deck. The Val... <laughs> this was the Teleport Disco Dance Floor deck. I mean, it really, really came together. And I think I'm actually only scratching the surface. Of what this deck could do. I, I, my better instinct, my, 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 not even better, and my worst judgment, but my, my gut is telling me get rid of all the tricks from the deck and just run pure aggression and just hit him in the face and hit him again and then finish them off as fast as you can, man. <laughs> this was insane. This was absolutely insane. Hope you guys enjoyed. The uh, Valk Viking hybrid deck. I will see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.